Hi, my name is Janice Clark, and I'm the Academic Dean here at Owensboro Catholic Middle School. Today I would like to talk to you about our EXPLORE test. EXPLORE is the entry point into ACT's Educational Planning and Assessment System. EPAS also features PLAN in Grade 10 and ACT Grades 11 and 12. EXPLORE combines curriculum-based tests in English, Mathematics, Reading, and Science with career exploration, instructional support, and evaluation components. The content of these tests is closely tied to that of the plan and the ACT. The EXPLORE program was developed by ACT to help 8th graders develop a high school course plan that prepares them to achieve their post-high school goals. The EXPLORE tests are normed for 8th grade students. For Owensboro Catholic Middle School, our go is to improve our test scores in each subject area. Curriculum is being aligned to the national standards as well as the ACT standards. What does this mean for your child? Typically, students take EXPLORE in the 8th or 9th grade plan as 10th graders and the ACT as juniors or seniors. All three of these tests address English, math, reading, and science. However, the material tested in each program gets progressively more difficult in order to assess their academic growth. EXPLORE is a curriculum-based assessment program designed to help 8th graders gain an understanding of their readiness for college, make the most of their opportunities in high school and beyond, and guide them as they start thinking about future educational and career planning. The composite scores vary on the three tests. At the 8th grade level on the EXPLORE test, the highest score is a 25, the highest on the PLAN a 32, and the ACT a 36. As these tests progressively get more difficult, the score continues to rise. What do my EXPLORE scores mean? To students, they should ask themselves, am I on track for college readiness? How can I improve my scores for the plan? How should I plan my high school course study? What are my academic and career goals right now as an eighth grader? For teachers, the EXPLORE results are used to effectively guide students, advise the best course of study based on student plans, deliver effective instruction, evaluate the student's progress, evaluate their instruction and individualized teaching based on the needs of each student. To administrators, the results help document success in meeting our standards, evaluate effectiveness of our educational programs, monitor progress toward desired educational outcomes, provide career and educational planning and verify student progress from grades 8 through 12. To parents, these results can be used to become familiar with state and college readiness standards, to use the intervention suggestions offered on the summary sheet to reinforce learning at home, to help their child plan their high school course study in order to improve their college readiness, and discuss career plans with your child. And now we will talk about the EXPLORE results and how to interpret them. This is what your summary score sheet will look like. On the left, you will see your students' scores in English, Math, Reading, and Science. You will also see a composite score, which is like an average of the four tests. The bar to the right with the percentage will show the percentage of students who scored at or lower than your student. For example, on this sample, the 73% next to the English score means that 73% of students across the nation scored at or lower than this child. Therefore, only 27% scored higher. On the right, you will see the percentage of other students who scored at or below the same score as your child from our own school, the region, and the state. This part of the score summary sheet shows an estimated composite score range. 
This means that if your child stays on the same course that he or she is on at the present time, their plan score will most likely fall within this range. This, of course, is just a calculated estimate, and your child can improve that score by taking rigorous course studies in high school, improving study skills, and just plain old hard work. This part of the score sheet shows what the student has indicated as their high school plans. This part of the score sheet will show you the core subjects that are required in high school or recommended to prepare for college. The blue section of this indicates what your child has said that he or she plans, how many years he or she plans to take each of these subjects in high school. You will notice that your child's plan does not always measure up to what is required or recommended. So you might want to take a look at this section when you're helping your child plan his or her high school studies. This area illustrates what the student has indicated as, as areas of need for improvement. Students, parents, and administrators, and teachers can incorporate these needs into their schoolwork and their planning. This section of the summary sheet illustrates what your child has indicated as his or her educational plans beyond high school. The student has also indicated a career area preference choice. This is an important section of the Explore Summary Sheet. If you look at the gray area, you will see the benchmark scores. These are a point of reference. This is the score which has been determined as the average score needed to be on track as an eighth grader for high school and college readiness. You will see, for example, that the bench score in English is 13. On this particular uh, summary sheet, this student was above benchmarks. In math, the benchmark score is 17, and this student scored below. You want to take a good look at this section of the test, making sure that your child is at or above. And if a check mark is in the below column, this is an area you might want to take a look at to recommend these classes as electives. Students will typically avoid subjects that they're not good in, and in actuality, they should do the opposite. They might want to take an extra class in high school as an elective to improve those scores. This section illustrates what the student has indicated as his or her area of interest for a future career. If you look on the left at the World of Work map, the words in blue indicate the career preference that your child chose. The shaded areas are the results of a 72 question interest survey. Based on the interest that your child expressed, these are recommended careers at this time in their lives that they seem to be leaning toward or expressing interest in. On the right side, the career area list is a more detailed list of careers or jobs that seem to be falling within their interest range. If you open the results sheet form, you will see a personalized recommendation for intervention. The child will be informed of how many questions he or she answered correctly for each of the four tests, as well as what questions they missed. Correct answers are also provided. Students will be given an opportunity to take the test booklets and look at the questions that they missed and ask teachers if they do not understand why these questions were missed. To the right, you will see the content areas that were tested for each test in the, in the gray area. And then on the far right, recommendations and suggestions for improvement are personalized for each child based on their performance on each test. These recommendations will be shared with teachers so that they can also help encourage the student and reinforce the skills that they need to master. Thank you very much for listening. I hope this has helped, and if you have any questions about the Explore test or the results, please feel free to call me here at Owensboro Catholic Middle School, Janice Clark, 683-0480. Thank you.